Google Trips, here we go. I'm just gonna click on my icon with the little suitcase here. And this is gonna show me all of my trips. Now, even though I just downloaded this app, it's pulled up reservations that were sitting in my email, even in folders from the last couple years. So I can look back at quite a few trips and quite a long time ago, this goes all the way back to 2012. So it's quite remarkable. It's really neat if you wanna remember a hotel you stayed in or a car rental company that you went with. So what I'm interested in here is my upcoming trip, Weekend in Revelstoke, which it titled for me. It made this automatically when it saw that I had an email reservation for my hotel for September 29th to the 30th. So I'm going to click on this. This is just a stock photo. Now, this part right here where it says Revelstoke available offline, I've already clicked to green. And what that does is downloads the whole map for me onto my phone, uh, the Google map part. And so what I can do is use this without any Wi-Fi or data, which saves me money and stress. Now, when I click on reservations, you can see I already have the Hillcrest Hotel, a coast resort here. And if I click on that, it's going to give me all my hotel information from the map, the address, the confirmation number, and my stay. I can even link directly to the email that sent me this. So I found a really good deal on Priceline. If I go back here, I can add something manually using the purple plus sign here. And I can do anything from a flight to a train, bus, car rental, and even a restaurant reservation. Now the greatest thing here is I can actually share this as well. So if I click on the share icon, which is the three dots up there, um, I can, once I'm finished, I would share this with uh, probably my spouse and also my mom. She likes to know where I am. She'd be my emergency contact if we were going overseas and I wanted her to know where we were at what times. And also if a friend is like wanting to know about a trip that I've done, I can send it to them and they can see all the places we stayed and who we went with. So if I go back here, I can look at things to do. Now Google's going to give me some suggestions based on their reviews and ratings. So I used a mixture of this and also my TripAdvisor because I noticed it didn't have everything we wanted to do. Now this is top spots, but it also has for you, indoors, outdoors, farther away, and then places A to Z. So farther away, I can see things that are all in the surrounding area, which is great because we're doing a road trip. So there are things we might want to hit up on our way there. Now we're looking for a mostly an outdoorsy trip. So when I look through the things that there are to do here, I go, oh, this waterfall looks nice. Moses Creek Community Park. I can click on it. It gives me links to the directions in the website. And I also see that it has 21 reviews. When I just quickly skim through, I see, oh, okay, it's muddy. Might want to bring some boots for my little one. It's only a five minute hike, which is great. So I know he can do this. The waterfall looks beautiful. I can scroll through the pictures. And if I decide I wanna go here, I'm gonna click on this little blue flag. It's gonna turn it into green if I click on want to go. I can also favorite it or star it. So I'm gonna click want to go and I'll show you where that will pop up. If I go back to this home screen, it'll be in my saved places. So if I scroll down here, there it is, Moses Creek Community Park. I also have a couple recommendations from my sister on here. This is great because sometimes you get those verbal recommendations and if you don't write it down or you lose that piece of paper, then you're hooped. But here I have the taco club. I put that in right away and the coffee shop. Uh, in the things to do, it doesn't have everything. So I knew that we wanted to go on the pipe, oops, pipe, <laughs> can't spell today, pipe mountain coaster. Now it found it right away. And if I click on it, I can also click want to go here. Now it's going to be in my saved places. And there it is. Sorry, weekend in Revelstoke. Another feature are these day plans. So if I wanted it to plan my trip for me, uh, if I click on the arrow here, it actually gives me all the directions to hit up all these places and tells me how long it's going to take to get to all of them. So this one starts at Revelstoke Railroad Museum. And you'll notice it says it's open till five. It tells me how long visitors usually stay there and then how to get to the next place, which is wonderful because all the time when I'm traveling and I pick out all these places I want to go, the hard part or the time consuming part, I should say, is trying to figure out what route you should take. So this is awesome. 11 minutes by foot, seven minutes by foot, and then by car. So it does the order for me. The day plans, there's a couple of different ones I can check through and I can also create my own, which is awesome. 
Food and drink is where I can find recommended restaurants, so I can look at the pictures and the reviews. I can see the Village Idiot Bar at the bottom there has 656 reviews and a four and a half star, so that's probably a place I'd want to check out. Again, I can call them, website directions, uh, I got the hours here and all the reviews. Another thing we wanted to do was the giant cedars boardwalk trail again it found it really quickly for me and i can flag it as want to go so it's starting to build my itinerary and that's basically google trips in a nutshell there's a couple other features like these discounts here so if you're more into looking for tours i like using this app as sort of a, a self-guiding thing so i don't use the tours too much but if you're into that go for it thanks for watching